land restoration is not a quick fix uh, thing where you just act today and tomorrow everything has changed it's a process it happens over a, a period first you the animals trample on the land and then a little bit of grass grows and it increases bit by bit but as the conditions change or micro environment changes other plant species begin to appear and so this is what has happened actually with the reeds it didn't just happen overnight it took quite a number of years and then slowly you will find that you have dotted reeds here and there and they, uh, they increase even this uh, grass uh, that loves wetlands also uh, appears just as dots here and there and increases in volume and the other species dies off and this is what actually happens well, so with the land. So tell me about person. where we are and what these plants are that are surrounding you. These are just uh, the, the normal reeds found in the rivers. They like uh, they are water loving plants. And if the land is dry, generally you will not find them much. But in wetlands you will find them a lot. And because we have, cha we have changed this place into a kind of wet wetland and this is why they are actually increasing and going a uh, they are actually growing further further upstream what did this area used to look like she used to have tall grass uh, the fetching grass uh, a bit and then bare sp spots all over but uh, this now the bare spots have disappeared and you, as you can see there's more water underneath than bare spots and, 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 more and where, where, where are we what is this this is the upper part of the elephant pools on on Dimbangombe it's reeds everywhere now as far down as you can see yes as we were talking out down say I said the uh, changes don't just take place overnight as you can see this is a reed that is just one and you have this grass growing here and another reed here is um, just showing up then as you move up you have those two so as, as at the beginning they will just show one by one and then this is showing us that the wetland is spreading sideways it means in a few years time we will not be able to drive along this path we have been moving we may have to move a bit further because this will be a wetland. So the, the process takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. But as you can see, this green is showing that the, this piece of land underneath there is water. And is, the water level is increasing. As it increases, then the reeds will also invade the place and spread up. And the tall grass, as you can see, here you have less tall grass, thatching grass, and you, up there you have more thatching grass. So it means the thatching grass is slowly being overtaken by the uh, plant species that love um, water or that thrive better in water.